a student here in KU, I think 10 plus years ago, came for counseling and prayer. The girl was a leader in the CU something. The boy also was, a, is a, I think over 10 years ago. I think now the couple is 30 plus. Both of them are leaders in church, in their church, in CU there. The mother of the lady is a single mother. In fact, the lady does not know the father. That's the only child the mother has. They started this thing of we are under grace. Grace, oh, oh grace. We don't need warfare. We don't need all that. You know that? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Don't even pay tithe. Give us willingly from your heart. Tithe is of the New Old Testament. Eh? You don't need to pray at midnight to come pray any time. God does not have time. Whatever he said at midnight and he said at midday, God will hear. Have you heard that nonsense? They pray prayers like this, plus God minus Satan in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the prayer you pray when you're going to sleep. Try. They dated for seven years. In this church, we don't encourage that. The deacons board are very strict on that. We don't have that. But then, there were no members of the church. In fact, this story I knew when they came for counseling. After seven years, now it was time for them to get married. Plans started. Everything was good. Until three days to the wedding. I'm showing you blood. Three days to the wedding, they decided, let us fast and pray and thank God. For seven years, they had lived a holy life. Hmm. For seven years, they were greeting like this. Brother, sister, there is no honey, babe. Mm -mm. They don't know that nonsense. Brother, sister, I will call you husband when you marry. Babe, for what? Are we not leaders in CU? So, fasting was to be done on Tuesday on Wednesday, and then on Thursday they were to break the fast so that on Friday they can clear system so that Saturday they can eat well. Isn't it their wedding? Okay. Tuesday they fasted. Crisis on our side. Wednesday, shake it, take it, edema, ababa, your products of grace. Thursday, for the first time, they say, let's meet and just, let me come. I don't know who went to which house. I don't know if it's a man or the woman. He said, we need to break off fast and thank God. Wedding is when? Saturday. Hmm. Thursday. When they joined hands, they joined legs and they joined anything that can be joined. That is the night that the lady got pregnant. A day to the wedding. She entered her wedding day with a foreigner inside. Just like the mother came with her. They programmed certain things in certain times. Ekozuka shakadebaka le supri katazalia ororo saprakate laba eda supra karade shada any satanic calendar that bears your name this month. Any satanic calendar that bears your name this year, I destroy it now. 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 Jesus was born. They trace the times. They trace the seasons. Sorcerers and magicians looked into the realm of the spirit and knew the
the time that the Messiah came. That's why they gave a sentence of death for every child born at that time. And God in his wisdom told Joseph, run. You don't have the spiritual energy and capacity to fight. You didn't hear me. Well, can I talk to somebody? Going to the village is not bad. But some of you, you don't have the capacity and the spiritual tenacity to withhold certain altars in your village. You better remain here. God told Joseph, run! Joseph, you are still asking how did you get pregnant? You're not the one who can stand against these powers. These powers have been there from the days of Adam. Joseph, run! Until a word is given unto thee. Some of you went to preach and say, oh, pastor says you should not go to the village. That kind of gospel is, is, is demonic. How come? Me, I want to go to Nakuru. Me, I want to go to Nakuru. Missy Nashida, enda maimayo, kwenda. But if you don't have the grace, if you have not developed your spirit enough to withstand certain altars, wisdom is remain here in Kawangware. You will make it well. That's how Lendo shall go December. No one your power. January at always you come to church. You can't, you can't even pray. You wake up to pray, you are seeing stars. The altars are seeing, your, your spirit is still there. Have a problem, go to Shama Hall, end up. But if you are going, you better have the grace and the strength to destroy and to withstand. Others' wisdom is like Joseph, run. Kapa, Udiru. Yeah, there are no altars. All your neighbors are not of the same blood. Unim Luya, Unim Kamba, Unim Nini, amen. I know the young man who stayed in Nairobi. God promoted. God married. Ah, money started coming. Bought little dots on. He was the first one in the family to buy a car. It was second hand car, but it is car. He was the first one to wait by coming to church. The others collect on the street. After he got little money, he decided to travel to up country under pressure that your age mates have built house. You know that pressure you go through? You know what I'm talking about? They tell you you must build. You must build in Makweni. All your age mates have built. Maybe see the young man now went to the dad's home. The family with the wife and the child. Na akasomewa na waze. Nairobi mekuchanganya. Mwachamila ni nini? He is renting in Nairobi. He was told, start building. What is it? All your mates here are building. But their houses are not finished, but they are building. You will get the revelation in April. Anyway, so the little that he had gathered, there is no problem building home. Please, don't get me wrong. The only problem I have is, do you have the capacity to build and to swallow the serpents in that area? If you have gotten that capacity, actually God is telling you, go and save my people. But if you have not gotten there, wisdom is profitable to direct. Run like Joseph. The young boy, the day he put the foundation, he lost his job. The day they dug and it looked like it's coming up, that's the day he lost his job. As he now said, I must build, I must build, he lost his car. The boy put pressure. The wife also lost his job. Till today is like Shezbaza. He is still building. Number four. Are, are you catching? There's number one. What is number one? They make you believe 
they don't exist. Number two, they program patterns. Number three, times and seasons. Number four, now this number four, probably I'll put a comma here. They erect altars and make covenants in your bloodline. And they use these altars and covenants as transformers of power to monitor destinies in the bloodline. You know, demons can't function without an altar. And where there's an altar, there's a covenant. So they erect altars consciously. Now, listen, I think it's good and I, I explain how altars are raised. Because some of you have raised altars unconsciously and you don't know they're not, or even your parents have raised altars unconsciously. And you don't know it's an altar. For instance, you're a doctor and you practice abortion in that your clinic. Anything, Niskize, that is done repeatedly in a certain place for a particular time forms an altar whether it is good or bad. Anything you do in a particular place repeatedly for a certain amount of time in the realm of the spirit it is interpreted as an altar. That's why you find that churches that have stayed in one place for a long time they win certain battles easily, not even with prayer, but by reason of longevity and continuous practice on the same place for a long time. Sometimes you've seen me, especially in counseling, someone comes for prayer and all that, and I don't feel unction, I don't feel anointing. What do I do? I send for the anointing that is on the altar because we have done, we have worshipped God, we have prayed, we have given on this altar repeatedly until even if you have not prayed, as long as you lie on the altar or you touch anything that touches the altar, the altar must touch you back. Can I go deeper? In Genesis chapter 28, Jacob was running away from his brother and then he came to Bethel. He did not know there was an altar. Ah, come on. It was not in his mind that where he was was an altar. It was the gate of heaven. Because he was tired, he slept. And when he slept, the heavens opened. And angels were ascending and descending. And then he says, the Lord is in this place and I knew not. Now, that place, Abraham had offered many, many sacrifices before Jacob was born. Now, you may not know an altar exists somewhere, but the altar cannot forget that it's there. If you remember well, when we were in 680, there were three casinos. Babylon. I remember them very well. But though as you enter, they ask you, are you coming to Babylon? Are you, I mean, there were, there were ushers even at the door. You remember? And you remember I announced, there is no way we can have four altars here. A church cannot be in this hotel and a casino in the same hotel on a Sunday. I close them on a Sunday. And we even closed the bar that was adjacent to us. What was the name of that famous bar? We closed it. When we used to do praise services, they used to gather. They said, these people are making noise. Do you remember? We closed. Casino 1 closed. Casino 2 closed. Casino 3 closed. And the bar closed. And they remained. What closed those bars? By reason of continual practice of gambling in the casino, it became an altar. By reason of us worshipping God there every day, we were raised an altar. And anywhere there is battle of altars, the stronger one swallows the weaker one. And I pray to God 
that the altar of Miracle Life Assembly will swallow the altar of your father's house. Will swallow the altars of your mother's house. Shout a big amen. I was with my sons yesterday deep in the night. Sifa and Ben. And we're discussing on how because I'm going to Papa. Every year I go to Papa for blessing. And I told them because last time some of them came with me. This time a bigger number wants to go with me. I told them by reason of stepping foot on Canaan land. You don't need anyone to pray for you. That step foot. The altar will begin to fight any negative altar in your life. That's what the Bible says. The church is the ground and the pillar of truth. There are places when you enter your life cannot be the same again. They sent a certain sir in 680. What do they call them? Agent, satanic agent. You remember? She came to take my life. And she managed to sit third row from where I sit. Abba. That day I was due, I was due for service. I delayed in prayer. Do you know the Holy Ghost knows the, the future? I delayed in prayer and then I called. I said, okay, I don't think I'll make first service. Uh, so and so handle first service. I'll come second service. She waited for service. She was to throw charm when I enter. She sat the, on the on the on the on uh, the whatever the row which the, the door I used that row. You remember six I used to use the certain door. She sat that row. So that as I enter, she throws her charms and her powers. By the time I stand, I was not supposed to speak. When I came in, instead of going to church, Holy Ghost said go to the restaurant. You remember? Okay. I said, where is my spirit here? They say, no, Allah. Okay. What do I do? Give me water. Ah, water is not going in. My spirit is restless. Ah, let me go to church. And I entered. She tried to raise her hand when I was passing. The hand could not raise. Then divinely, instead of going to sit, I went directly to the altar. And the first thing I did was to worship. That's the place she was arrested. You remember? Yes. And she's began to speak many things. How she was sent. How she has made cast to overturn in Mombasa Road. And all that. And all that. What happened? Just like places are altars. There are men who are altars. A witch doctor is a walking altar. A pastor is a walking altar. When a higher and a stronger altar enters somewhere. The weaker one must bow. That is the rule in the realm of the spirit. So demons program. They erect altars and covenants in your bloodline. How do they do it? By programming certain practices in the mentality of our forefathers that is called tradition. Mazakshikapo. And as long as they follow those traditions and they do them consistently and continually, what they do becomes an altar. Those are the things we call altars of the father's house. For example, in your place when people get married, they must bring three goats, they must bring three beer, mandizi, three letwe, uji, piku, and then all that. And everyone has gone through that. That practice is what raises an altar. So, an altar is not necessarily a kahil somewhere. Oh, that's no, 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 no. It is a practice that has been done for a long time. Kai, can I go deeper? Spirits leave the realm of the spirit to come in the realm of the physical by two things. The words of men and the actions of men. There is a dimension you don't need to invite spirits. Your actions will invite them. For example, the spirit of prosperity does not come by just saying prosperity for all. Your continuous giving raises an altar of prosperity that attracts the same grace. Hmm? 
The practice of marrying many women in your family. Your uncle has three. Your grandfather had five. Your father has one, but there's another one somewhere. Yeah, da, 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 all, all that. All these continuous practices invite certain spirits in that bloodline. And spirits dwell in a house called an altar. An altar can be something visible or something invisible, but the truth is, whether visible or invisible, they are real. So, by continual practices of things that are not consistent with the scripture, and most of them, they are called what? Traditions. Now, let's go to Mark chapter 7. This is why now you need to be spiritually alert. Mark chapter 7. This is verse 14. Oh. Verse 13. Mark chapter 7 verse 13. Making the word of God. Making the word of God. Of none effect. Of none effect. Through your traditions. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, read it again. Oh. Making the word of God Mark of chapter none. 7 verse 13. Making the word of God mm. of none effect. Of none effect. Through your traditions. Through your traditions. Through your traditions. Yes. What are traditions? These are beliefs that do not have scriptural basis. But they have ancestral explanation. Until they have said, Anayacha Mila. That is not a verse. The Bible says opposite. It says the, the traditions. Okay. Let me give an example. Somebody owns a bar. Sells beer. Sells what? Men, women have lost their marriages in that bar. People have gotten sick in that bar because it's bar and lodging. Amen? That bar, people have lost money. That bar, and it has been there for many years? Five. And then the bar goes down. And the owner of the bar decides to close. This is it. And leaves the premises. And the place is painted and written to let. Then you come there, you want to put a shop to sell cereals. Six months after. It is painted. It has been renovated. Then you put what? Your cereals there. Then with your little faith, you pray little prayer. Plus God, minus Satan, in Jesus' name. You go to Uganda and get cereals. In fact, your prices are very low. One year down the line, you realize you're not making any profit. What is eating you? They vacated the premises physically. But the spirits that have been there for five years have not been told where to go. That place is no longer a bar. It's an altar. Go to Kilimani now, where we used to have church. Nothing has been able to be put there. It's an altar. It's an altar. You have to understand the mysteries of the spirit. Now, in this bloodline, you have to be very sensitive with some traditions in your family. Some things you're told to do, where do they come from? Are they in the Bible? Who said that when people die, you must be shaved? Is it in the Bible? So you, born again, lead of security, clean. <laughs> your brother, clean. Your other brother, clean. We think that you want to look neat, but there's no neatness, oh. Thy traditions have made the word of God of none effect. So you are worshipping God, but there are certain things in your life that don't open. Why? By you doing the traditions, you have empowered the familiar spirit 
in your father's house to lock your ways. They cannot lock your heart. Your heart belongs to God because you're born again, but they can lock your ways because you have given them the permission. Thai traditions have made the world of non effect. I don't know if I'm teaching. Some of you were circumcised in that very, very deep traditional way. They took you to the river at 4 a.m. You were in a group. People were singing. Kubu, 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 kubu. There were bulls that accompanied you to witness blood coming out in a traditional way. And after that, you are given a woman to test whether you are aware. And then they tell you, any woman you see, as long as she's not married, she's yours. Is that not what they are told? They are told now. And they are given even some very strong drink so that the pain does not kill you. Now, Nambi, Oki, Katwa. Now, Simame, Oni, Mwanaume. So, when I say, Sili. Now listen, listen. Sili ukotu. From that day, even to the Holy Ghost, you are hard. You are not broken. Everything about you. Because that spirit entered. How did it enter? The practice, the tradition. The place they take the boys is an altar. That will summon anyone that went there, even if that person is in U.S. Because altars don't need visa. That's why such meetings, you need to pray so that you can withdraw your name from all those altars. We withdraw your staff from all those altars. For the power of God. To, God's power wants to flow, but something is hindering it in your life. How did you pay your dowry? Some of us went to school using money that was not earned in a righteous way. And no money is blood. You exchange your life for it. Is it no blood? Huh? Is it no blood? Oh? So your father deprived other families to give you good life. What he was giving was a good life. He was programming your future for problems. So you remember when you used to be young, life used to be good, but now you're struggling. Uh -uh. Hey, church is looking at me. Are you writing? Are you looking at me? Are we together? Yes. The beauty about it is that there is a higher altar. There is a stronger altar. The altar that can swallow the altar of your father's house. Do you know you can delete your name from any evil altar, wherever it is? And in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood. I arrest your name. I arrest your name. I arrest your name. I arrest your name. Any altar in your father's house, any altar in your mother's house, summoning your destiny, I command the altar to die. I command your name to be arrested. Somebody say, I refuse to respond. To uncensored altars. Come on, say it well. I refuse to respond to uncensored altars. Can you say it loud and clear? I don't like the way you are saying it. I like you to say it from your spirit, man. I want to make a decree. On this altar, you shall not repeat your mother's mistakes. You shall not repeat your father's mistakes. In the name of Jesus! The Bible says it is evident that there was no tribe. Look at chapter 7 of Hebrews. That there was no priesthood from the lineage of Judah. And that's where Christ came from. That means from you, a new family tree can come. There has never been an engineer in your family. You can be the first one. There's never been a pastor in your family. You can be the first one. 
There has never been a pilot in your family. You can be the first one. Please. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Chapter 7 verse 14, yes. For it is evident. It is evident. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Of which tribe of which Moses. tribe Moses spoke nothing. nothing concerning, concerning priesthood. Concerning priesthood. Mm. Priesthood was to come from Levi. Christ came from Judah. And as he is. That means from you also. A new family tree, a new order, a new pattern can emerge in the name of Jesus. And I pray to God from you. From you. From where you are. From who you are. A new family tree, a new order, a new pattern shall emerge in your family. Shall emerge in your family. Shall emerge in your family. Shall emerge in the name of Jesus. It says it is evident that Christ sprang from Judah, a tribe. That means Jesus ensured that there is no pattern anywhere. If you like. The tribe of which Moses spoke nothing. Concerning priesthood. So it's possible. I was the first pastor in a, and I'm the least of the least. I have cousins who are 60, 70 cousins. So you can imagine, I'm the least of the least. But I become the first pastor. Now we have pastors and bishops. Others even now, they're in Bible school. Ah, it is possible. What is it? It is possible to break this thing. Rise up on your feet. We'll put a comma there at four. We'll continue. There are seven prayers I want us to pray. Do you want to pray? Have you understood my message this afternoon? Come on, have you understood my message this afternoon? Are you blessed? I'd like you to dip your life, first of all, in the blood of Jesus. Keep your life in the blood. Oh, it is today. It is today. It is today. It is today. Today is the day there's going to be a disconnection. In the name of Jesus. Now, this book has one-on-one prayers to crush witchcraft powers. If we don't have this book, ensure you get it. But the prayers we are praying are from this book. This book has helped many families. Can I be honest with you? There are even companies that when I wrote this book, use this book as a manual. And there are companies and businesses broke forth. Please, if you don't have this book, get it after service. And if you have it, go read it this evening. I want us to pick seven corrosive, deadly prayer points. You lift up your right hand of fire. Pray this loud and clear. Say, let God arise. Let God arise. And trample down witchcraft powers in my father's house. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer very quickly, please. Jesus Christ said powers of evil relocation networking with witchcraft altars in my life hi, 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 hi. powers of evil relocation networking with witchcraft altars in my father's house die in the name of Jesus make it snappy make it snappy See? 
Jesus mighty name. Witchcraft agenda over my family, over my health, over my finances, over my career, over my business. Witchcraft agenda over my life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. precious name. Witchcraft power assigned to resurrect affliction in my life. Uh -uh, can you say it well? Aha! Uh -huh. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Prayer. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, let the devil of witchcraft set before me become their trap and their snare. Let the devil of witchcraft set before me become their trap, become their snare, become their trap, become their snare. Open up your mouth and decree in Jesus' name. Oh my God. Add more fire. Add more fire. In the name of Jesus. No witch or wizard. Shall prosper in my environment. In the name of Jesus. No witch. No wizard. No witch. No wizard. No witch. No wizard. No witch. No wizard. No witch, no wizard shall prosper in my life, in my environment. No witch, no wizard. No witch. Uh uh. Prayer. In Jesus' name. Foundation of witchcraft. In my father's house. Oh yeah, you better pray. <laughs> you better pray. Oh. In Jesus' mighty name. Foundation of witchcraft. In my mother's house. Witchcraft padlocks in my father's house, in my mother's house. Break and release my glory. Break now. Release my glory. Witchcraft padlocks. Break now. 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 Oh my God. Is that the way you pray that prayer? We have a very short time to pray. You better pray well. In Jesus' mighty name, powers of witchcraft, feeding me in my dreams, feeding me in my dreams. Ah, uh -uh, you have eaten in the dream before. Powers of witchcraft, feeding me in my dreams. I judge you by fire. I judge you by fire. I judge you by fire. Scatter! I am praying. Prayo. Rabato. 
Ronda la batola bayana. Rala malela balala balala barala baragada. Is that the way you pray the prayer point? Add more fire. Add more fire. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your right hand of fire. I disinfect every witchcraft material in my heart with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus, I disinfect every witchcraft material in my house, in my office, in my car with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Relationships. Sakata malabala la banana bayandas. Esoto lo boyanda ra brakara basanta. Ha. Continue. One of the things we shared is about witchcraft powers programmed into times and seasons. You pray this prayer loud and clear. Evil times, evil, times. evil, seasons, evil seasons, programmed by witchcraft power into my life. Can you pray it again? Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Can you say it again? Yes, yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. We die in the name of Jesus. Command the evil times and seasons to wither. Wither now. 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 With her, with her now, with her, die! Sakatalaba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Witchcraft calendars, programming my star, scatter, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Witchcraft calendars. Programming my stuff. Amen. I disappoint. Every witchcraft appointment. In my life. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Disappoint. Oh, disappoint. Disappoint. Church, are you tired of praying? Disappoint. Disappoint. Every witchcraft appointment. Amen. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, over my destiny, my marriage, my career, my family, my health, my children. I plead the blood. 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 Oh yeah. Plead oh. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood over my body. Over my mind. Over my blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Come on, plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' blessed name, lift up your hands and thank God for answer prayer. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank him for answer prayer. Thank him for answer prayer. 
I wish your hands can be lifted higher than that. How I pray that your mouth can be louder than that. Thank him for deliverance. Amen. All eyes closed. Lift your hands. There are few people here that the power of God wants to deliver. I see padlocks breaking. The power of God is coming upon a few individuals now. <laughs> Especially the witchcraft padlock of delay and stagnation and postponement of breakthrough. I see those padlocks melting away now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go away to Leah. Don't say amen now. This is another dimension. I will tell you when to say amen. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I break. I break, I break, I break witchcraft padlocks of stagnation, delay, postponement of breakthrough. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 Lose them now. Lose her. Lose him. Lose her. Lose him. Three puzzles. Three puzzles. The power of God is so strong upon him. <laughs> Let the padlock break now. Let the padlock break now. Break now. Break now. Some of you, you've been eating in the dream. And that padlock was introduced then. Right now, the power of God is delivering you. Loose. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go now. Let him go. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose. 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 Loose your hold. There are three people you're feeling your body is shaking. Please come to the front. You, you know you, your body, you, you, something, your body is shaking uncontrollably. There are about three of you. Just make your to the front. And if you don't have a mask, don't come here. There are three people. Move them close to the front. There. Space them well. Space them well. Space them well. Space them well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I need ashes behind them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Pick that one up. Bring her here. Easy. Put a mask on. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Turn over there. Put a mask on quickly. Leave them down. Leave them down. God is working on them. The padlock is breaking. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loser, 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 loser. Look at it, look at this. This is power. This is power. It's breaking now. It's breaking now. Loose, 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 loose your hole. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your hold. Pull it, pull it. It's coming out. Don't worry. Out. Out. Mighty 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come back no more. In Jesus name. I said to free. She's free. Pick her up. I'm sure you. She's free. She's free. I need a microphone here. What happened? You are shaking and throwing your legs. What are you feeling? Put your mask on. Put it on. Yes. What are you feeling? Why were you shaking and throwing your legs? Some powers. Huh? Some powers. Some powers. Yeah. What was happening to you? Do you know you are rolling around here? You don't know. You're free in Jesus' name. Go back to your seat. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break. 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 Loser. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Loser. 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 Out. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open our doors now. Release our glory. Loser, 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 loser. There's one more padlock. Padlock of postponement of breakthrough. I break it. I set you free. Pick her up. How are you feeling, Mama? I'm light. You're light. Yes. What was causing you to jump and to scream? You don't know. You are free in Jesus' name. Give the Lord my hand of praise. Pick that one up. You're free. You're free. This week, Mama, this week you'll encounter serious breakthrough. This week, this week, I'm telling you the truth. This week, this week, oh, there will be a sign. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. A break. A break. A break. I koresita asagadi amahandosko ebrika abraketo bakata two years a days loser loser now loser now witchcraft from the mother's house I break no. see no. you see I want you to know something eh no. we are dealing with spirits no. this is not her talking the spirit of the mother's house not even father's house is saying no I'm not going. Paul said we have not believed cunningly devised fables. We are not speaking words. These are spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Carry your Lord. Carry, 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 carry everything. Carry your delay. Carry now. Carry your delay. I bind you now. I cast you out. Come back no more. Give the Lord a mighty of praise. Wait. Something is happening. Wait, wait, wait. God's power is all over. There is restoration taking place. There is restoration. Restore, oh God. Lost glory. Restore, oh God. Lost, lost opportunities. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Things are being added to our destiny. I, I see a light. I see, I see a light. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is a great destiny. Oh, your laughter will be the loudest, I tell you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Pick her up. She's free. Pick for me that young man who is down there. Can a young boy fake God's power? Come on, answer me. Can a young, man, a young boy like this fake God's power? Who has touched any of those people? Holy Ghost. Now, she is under the power. Look at it. What God is doing is he is reconstructing this destiny. And what I'm saying is that God is pulling him out of his father's house. Give 
me a space. There's a strong anointing here. Shakatala bayanabas. Set for the instrument this young man. Lord, use him. Lord, use him. Is this your song? Can I be very honest with you? If Jesus tarries, this will be a wealthy man. If Jesus tarries, I'm telling you. Now, let me tell you what I'm seeing in the spirit. I don't know at what age he was, but it's like you receive prophecy that he will be a pastor, he will serve God, something like that. On this order. Okay. The truth is this, he will not serve directly. He will be in church. But I see him making a lot in the marketplace. If Jesus tarries, he will serve on the altar, but not necessarily preaching. There is money in his store. Serious money. Serious. Serious. Now, let me be very honest with you. Don't play with his education. As a father, do your best to give this boy the best. It's a great lesson. Please pick him up. Look at me. Okay. Lift your hands. From my spirit to your spirit. Take it. Take it. Mm. 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 May you begin to see visions and dreams at this age. Lift your hands, everyone, please. There's a strong anointing here. Somebody say, Father, touch me with your spirit. Father, touch me. Come on, lift your hands and close your eyes and say from your heart, My Father, my Father. Touch me this afternoon with your spirit. Touch me with the fire of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Don't look around. That's the power of God. Concentrate on your own. Something is happening now. Something is happening now. I separate you, I separate you, I separate you from the curses of your father's house. I separate you now from the curses of your mother's house. Somebody is feeling the power of God. Somebody is feeling the power of God. Somebody is being delivered now. Now, 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 now. There's a separation. There is a deliverance taking place. Carry them, carry them to the front. I shall carry them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sakatoria Maragaska. Yes, 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 yes. Carry them, carry them. Carry them. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I attack the curses of your father's house that has caged your life, that has caged your destiny. I command them to listen now. Be released, 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 be released now. Dagash 
Rico Boso Koto Blaka. Lift up your hands. Zeketembe de Kete Gada Bakada Gada Gada Gada. Be released now in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pick this one for me. God bless you, young man. Someone help him. He's still under the power. Gently, just take him. Look at the power of God upon this young man. Look, look at it. Look at the power of God. Bring that on also. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is today. It is today. Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's power. God's power. God's power. God's power. God's power. Take it. Take it. Be released now. 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 Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. I like you to pray, my father, my father, restore my destiny. Restore my life. Restore my destiny. Restore my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer. My father, restore my destiny. Restore my life. My father, my father, restore my destiny. Restore my life in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, restore my destiny. Restore my life in the name of Jesus. My father, my father. Restore my life. Restore my destiny. In the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father. Restore my life. Restore my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray that prayer. My Father, restore my life. Restore my destiny. Restore my life. Restore my destiny. Restore my life. Restore my destiny. In the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father. Restore my life. Restore my destiny. In the name of Jesus, my Amen. father, my father. Get with this young man. Look, look what is happening here. His hands are still, he's still under the power. Look at him. Bring him, bring him here. I shall stay up there. Look, look at this. What are you feeling on you? Why are you shaking? Why are you doing like this? What is happening? How are you feeling? What are you feeling? Pain. Huh? Pain. Pain in your hand. Why are you doing like this? What is coming out? You don't know. This is deliverance. A young boy like this cannot fake it. L look at deliverance. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Pastor Rufus. Because of okay, bring him, bring him close here. Okay, there. Okay, good. Let God do his work. Boy like this cannot fake it. This is power. Let, let, let the work of God continue. Loose. 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 Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Carry your load. Carry. Carry. Yes. Loose. Toyote. Toyote. Remove the struggles. Yes, I, I, I destroy every satanic work in your foundations. The work of his hands must prosper. You can see the hands? Those are chains breaking. He's, he must be released. Don't worry. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold his hand. Slowly. Easy. Hold his hand. 
Easy. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. You're free. Are you feeling the pain? Are you feeling the pain? No. It's gone. Yes. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Shall we thank God for the service? I'll minister to them off camera. Please just take them back. God bless you. Lift up your hands and thank him for his... Everyone has been touched. Everyone has been touched. Pick us gently, please. Gently. Don't look around. Look up. Look within. And bless the name of the Lord. Bless his name forever. Lisema utatenda na umetenda hiyo mana unaitwa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated in his presence. Never go down. You're lifted for life. Your star will keep shining. You'll never go down. You have your tithe. You have your first fruit. You're redeeming a sacrifice. If you're writing a check, write Miracle Life Church. If you're swiping, lift your hand. They'll show you where to swipe. The Lord is good. Package also your afternoon sacrifice. Under such an anointing, you do justice to tap into the grace. You don't just give anything. You take advantage of the atmosphere and the grace. You have seen even the power of God was moving, some people are sowing seeds. I mean, this your sacrifice this afternoon should connect to the atmosphere and the grace. Please, again, I'm giving you a spiritual warning. Don't package anyhow. There I'm seeing some of you trying to do. It's like you're not listening to what I'm saying. You're just putting anything. How long will you live like this? Aren't you tired of stagnation? Take advantage. That money you wanted to buy lunch, that money you wanted to buy a shoe, put it there. Take advantage of the grace that is in the atmosphere. Quickly, if you have your tithe, rise up on your feet. If it's fast fruit, please indicate fast fruit. If it's check, Miracle Life Church. If you are redeeming a vow, write the same. Father, thank you for the tithers in the house and online and fast fruiters. Lord, I pray that the blessings will keep increasing and multiplying on their way in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain standing until I shall serve you. Remain standing. God bless you. Once you've put your own, God bless you. You may sit. You may be seated. Shall we all lift our afternoon sacrifice? Our seed of release. And in one minute, talk to God with it. On the net, continue doing the same. You have been online.
it's an error now to say it was a blessing and then you switch off. That's how you miss it. That's how you miss it too. online. That's how you miss it. You tap into the flow. Your offering, your sacrifice is connecting you to the grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Seated, please. Let the praise and worship give us something as the offerings are being collected. Lift up your hands and thank God for the offerings and for the service. Go ahead and do that. In the name of Jesus, thank him from the depth of your heart. The Lord is good. His mercies endures forever. In Jesus' blessed name. Online worship has just been a blessed time being with you in the service. Let's meet again at four. Exactly four. And by 5.30, we are done. It's only one hour, 30 minutes. As we start day two of our three-day fast. Each day is seven days. This is day eight. Right? Right. So at four, we are here back again, praying, and hearing the word, and opening our heavens. From Tuesday, again, we resume our weekly services on ground. As we observe, day two in his presence. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're here from 6 to 7.45. Saturday is anointing service part two. Is 9.30 or 10? 9.30 on Saturday up to 11. And then Sunday again, we are here. Then Sunday afternoon, like we start day three. The last stretch up to the 31st. Please remember our schedule of fasting. It's from 6 to 6. From Monday to Friday. Then Saturday and Sunday we break at 3 or after the service. Like now you're free. It's only 40 minutes to 3. You can break your fast for Sunday today. You're lifted for life. It's only 21 days. Although there are those who are going for 40 those who are going for 28 and I'm pleased for all my sons and daughters who are doing that the Lord is on your side please put hands together for Jesus as we release the online worshipers Lion of Judah my trust Reverend Joseph Matko has just given you the key for a progressive life in Jesus Christ. We believe that your life will never be the same again. It cannot be otherwise. Please share with us your testimony. 
to reach Reverend Joseph Matko, please call 022-524-626 or email info at miraclelifeassembly.org. God bless you. I put a morning